Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this system of two equations, 2 power x minus y minus x minus y equal to 0. And the second equation is 2 minus x plus y whole power x minus y equal to 0. We are going to find the value of x and y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And if we look at this system of equations, we can see that both of these equations are untidy and perplexing, and they don't give us any sense of direction. So therefore, we are going to manipulate both of these equations by performing few simple steps. So let's go ahead and focus on this very first equation. And here I have copied down this equation. Let's go ahead and move these uh, negative x and negative y to the right hand side. So this could be written as 2 power x minus y. And this on the right hand side is going to become positive x and then plus y. And we can also write like this way by switching them around. So therefore we have transformed this equation into this form. So we can write this equation as this one. And now let's focus on this second equation. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and move this term on the right hand side. So this could be written as 2 equals to on the right hand side is going to become x plus y whole power x minus y. And now this equation could be written as like this one by switching them around. And now we can see that this equation has been transformed into this form. So therefore we can write this equation as this one. And now we can see our this new system of equations is well organized. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one and this second as equation number two. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation two. And here I have copied it down and let's focus on this base uh, x plus y and we can see our in equation 1 x plus y equals to 2 power x minus y. So therefore I'm going to replace this x plus y by 2 power x minus y. So therefore we can write this one as a 2 power x minus y and then a whole power x minus y equals to 2. And now let's focus on these two nested exponents x minus y and x minus y. So we are going to use this power rule. So therefore we are going to multiply out these nested exponent 2 power x minus y and then times x minus y equals to 2. And now in the next step, this x minus y times x minus y could be written as a x minus y whole square. And on the right hand side, 2 could be written as 2 power 1. And now we can see on both sides our bases are 2. As long as our bases are same, we can equate our exponents as well. So therefore we can write x minus y whole square equals to positive 1. And now let's go ahead and take a square root on both sides to undo this square. So this square and square root they undo each other. So we simply ended up with x minus y equals to positive or negative 1. So therefore this could also be written as x minus y equals to positive 1 or on the other side x minus y equals to negative 1. And now in this next step we are going to investigate these two cases. 
first one when x minus y equals to positive 1 and the case 2 when x minus y is negative 1 and now let's focus on this case 1 first let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 3 but we know that our this equation 1 is x plus y equals to 2 power x minus y as you can see over here and wherever we see x minus y i am going to replace it by 1 so therefore this equation is going to become x plus y equals to 2 power 1 or simply this could be written as x plus y equals to 2 let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 4 and now as you can see I have just copied down equations 3 and 4 right up here and now we are going to solve this given system of two equations with two variables by using the elimination method and now let's go ahead and add these two equations and here we can see this negative y and positive y they cancel each other out so we ended up with 2x equals to 3 so our x value turns out to be simply 3 divided by 2 and now we are going to put this x equal to 3 over 2 value in this equation 4 and here's our equation 4 we are going to replace this x by 3 over 2 then this equation 4 is going to become 3 divided by 2 plus y equals to 2 now subtract 3 over 2 from both side this is gone so that means our y value is going to be simply 2 minus 3 over 2 is going to give us simply 1 over 2 so therefore for case 1 our x value turns out to be 3 over 2 and y value is 1 over 2 so thus our solution for this case 1 is 3 over 2 for x and for y it is 1 over 2 and now let's focus on our case 2 now when x minus y equals to negative 1 let me go ahead and call this equation as number 5 and here's our equation 1 x plus y equal to 2 power x minus y so wherever we see x minus y i am going to replace it by negative 1 so therefore this equation could be written as x plus y equals to 2 power negative 1 and we know that 2 power negative 1 is same as 1 divided by 2 so therefore we can write this one as x plus y equals to 1 over 2 let me go ahead and call this as equation number 6 and here i have copied down these equations 5 and 6 you can see and now we are going to solve this system of two equations with two variables by using the elimination method now let's add these two equations when we add them this positive and negative y they cancel each other out so we got 2x equals to negative 1 plus 1 over 2 is going to give us negative 1 over 2 let's multiply both side by 1 over 2 this 2 and 1 over 2 this is gone so our x value turns out to be negative 1 over 4 and now we are going to put this x equal to negative 1 over 4 value in this equation 5 to solve for y and here's our equation 5 we are going to replace this x by this uh, negative 1 over 4 so therefore we can write negative 1 over 4 minus y equals to negative 1 and now let's add 1 over 4 on both sides they are gone so we got negative y equal to negative 3 over 4 and if we remove these negative signs we got y equals to 3 over 4 so thus our x value turns out to be a negative 1 over 4 and y value is 3 over 4 for this case 2 so thus our solution for case 2 turns out to be negative 1 over 4 comma 
y value is 3 over 4. And thus, here's our complete set of solutions. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.